finally get this video done, man. Oh. Catching it is, guys. Sorry. Floorboards are squeaky. Need to put that in the list. Welcome back, how are we all? Yes, we're back in the kitchen. I was hoping to get out in the course today to do this video because the weather in the past couple of days has actually been quite good and the courses have been opened. No chance. Woke up this morning, completely snowed under. But I'm going to do the video. I'm going to keep it relatively short as much as I can. You'll be able to see with the, the video length whether or not I do it or not. But we'll see how we go on. Okay, so for anyone that's new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Andy from Andy Plays Golf. I make videos for high to mid handicap golfers. Try and keep it quite lighthearted and quite basic. I don't go into a lot of detail about stuff for the simple fact I don't really know. But I just want to put videos out there and just try to make golf a wee bit fun. If you are new make sure you give the video a like and make sure you subscribe at the bottom and if you are returning back to one of my videos thank you much appreciated. So this series that I'm doing is Target 10. Target 10 is a weekly series of videos where I document what my findings are from that week and I break down every aspect of my golf swing. Last week we done grip, the video should be somewhere up the top and this week we're going to be looking at posture and distance to the golf ball. These are two major things which completely killed my swing since I started going for lessons. I was getting told my posture was wrong and I was getting told that my distance to the golf ball was wrong. So the minute I started playing about with it I just lost it. There's videos where you can watch about posture, there's videos you can watch about how far to stand from the golf ball. You will have a barrage of information thrown at you. I'm going to keep it relatively simple. There's only going to be two things I'm going to talk about. One for your posture and one for distance to the golf ball. Quite simple things to do and quite natural things as well. But before we begin, there's just a wee thing I want to mention. Expectedly, I got messages about last week's video. Last week's video was about trying out a stronger trail hand grip to allow an into-out swing path. One thing that I worked on that week and one thing that I will continue to take forward which has seriously helped my game. So the messages I had were from so-called pros. These pros were saying that I was promoting the use of a strong trail hand in the golf swing and yes well that is correct I also make it perfectly clear and I think five or six occasions in the video and also the description that this is not the grip that you should be using going forward this is simply a training aid to allow you to feel what it's like to get an into out swing path because it worked for me. So training aids are massively important in sports. What they do is they allow the player to feel a certain aspect in their game and that then allows them to recreate that feeling a lot easier because we know how it feels. So you've seen these things, these yellow things that go in your arm, you've seen the swing plate thing that can go around, you've seen all these different training aids. You don't take them out of the course, they're simply for practice. So if you're practicing and you don't know what it feels like to get an into out swing path, changing your grip can be one of the things that will do that. When you've then got that feeling, you change your grip back to a more neutral grip where it's on top of the grip, like I say in the video, and then you can start working on your swing path, knowing what it's like and how it feels. So yes, I was promoting a stronger trail hand. I was also promoting that you shouldn't use that grip going forward. Moving on. What is posture? For me, posture was all about how I should stand at the golf ball. Technically correct. Go and watch those 20 minute long videos that barrage you with information about what posture is. But I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Posture for me is about being ready. Being ready and challenging your body to swing a golf club. Swinging a golf club is a bit of a strain on your body and you've got to be ready to do that. You've got to at least have your body in a ready position for your body to do certain movements. So I sat in the range this week where I was working on my legs, working on my back, working on my shoulders, working on all these little things that I've seen in all those videos. And then I was thinking 20, 30 things before I was hitting my shot and all of a sudden I was having crap shots and I'm thinking, well, I've got a good posture. So then I came home. When I walked through the door, Layla, my youngest, came out into the hall. She ran towards me with her hands up in there. I put my golf clubs down and I'd done that to pick her up. So I picked her up in there and we'd done the whole kind of dirty dancing thing where I'm spinning around and she's giggling and I'm laughing and all of a sudden I thought what did I just do so looking back on it when she ran towards me I got myself in a ready athletic position I crouched down I had my knees bent my hands were out in front of me 
and I was getting ready to catch her. And I thought, that's it. That's an athletic position. That's the position I should be getting into for golf. How did I just combine four or five elements into one simple move? It's because I already knew it. It was perfectly natural for me to do that. We already know what it's like to be stuck to the ground and be balanced and feel that you're ready to get hit off something. We know what that feels like. This is how we get into it in the golf swing. Right, so I've moved the camera just so you can see. Right, so this is me standing normally. I've got a straight back, my legs are straight. But then then if I then think about, as I said, a child running towards me or jumping off a couch, I get myself in that position. My knees are bent correctly, my back is straight, but I'm getting ready to catch whatever it is. My hands are in front of me, they're tucked into my body, they're not out here, tucked into my body. My hands are also shaped correctly, my shoulders are correct, and I'm ready to catch whatever it is that's coming to me. Bring in a golf club, that's it. There's your position, it's as simple as that. Let's look at it side on. Right, so here's my natural position. I've got Wee Layla running towards me. I'm ready to catch her. So you can see my straight back. My bum's not sticking out too much. My knees are bent, but I feel solid. I feel stable in the ground. One thing to note, have a look at your feet. They're naturally going to be flared because you know that if you turn your feet in, you're off balance, but flared feet gives you a stable platform. I bring in my golf club and there's my posture. It is as simple is that. So when you're at the driving range, do that. Think about a small child running towards you. I would probably keep it to yourself. You don't want to be declaring to everyone that that's what you're thinking about. You'll probably get arrested. Think about either catching a small child or catching a ball, something heavy getting thrown at you and you have to get yourself in that position. That's your posture. Simply just add in a golf club. That's what I've done. And that changed it. That was something that just simply changed once I knew the fundamentals of what an athletic position was like. Okay, so as I said, it was going to be relatively basic. The next one we're going to look at is distance to the golf ball. Again, you're going to hear lots of different things about having a hand span from your belt buckle to the golf shaft, all this kind of stuff. Don't worry about all of that. It's got to be as natural as it possibly can. When I started looking at moving the golf club, from different areas, whether it be too close or too far, that helped me massively. If you need to understand what a natural, neutral feeling feels like, you've got to understand the extremes. You've got to look at being too far away from the ball, you've got to look at what it's like being too close to the ball. When you're at the range, do these. Get far too close and get far too far away. One thing you're going to realise is it's a lot easier to hit far away than it is being closer, but you've got to find a middle ground here. The only thing I concentrate on the butt of my club should be pointing between either my belly button and my belt buckle. If I'm within that range, it's going to be good. If you're playing a wedge, your shaft's going to be steeper compared to if you're playing a long iron or a driver. Your distance to your club doesn't change. The distance from your club to the golf ball will change because you've got longer clubs. And what I mean by that is when you're in a correct posture and your hands are dangling down straight, they should simply be presented to the club. You don't want to move them out, you don't want to be moving them closer to your body. Okay, so just while I was editing that there, I just picked up on a couple of wee things. When I'm referring to the distance that you are from your driver is simply because your driver's longer. The actual angle in which your hands or arms descend from your body do not change. On an iron posture, you're a wee bit more hunched over, meaning that your angle of your arms comes straight down and then onto your club. On your driver, you actually stand up a wee bit more, but the angle in which is created from your arm to your body does not change. That will mean that your arms are slightly further away from your body, but they're only further away from your body because the actual angle in which they descend is a wee bit more upright. And that is because the length of the driver. So you don't physically push your hands away from your body. It naturally happens because you're standing more upright. I hope that makes sense. So I'll move the camera and show you what that looks like. Right, so you're in your athletic position. You're getting ready to catch the child, whatever it is you're thinking about. If you're playing too far away, your hands drop down and then you have to move them. If you're too close, your hands drop down and then you have to move them. You don't want that. You want your hands to drop down and that is where your club should be. So that might be a hand span away. It might be whatever your reference point is, that's fine. But as long as your hands are dangling down, and grabbing the club. So as I said, when you're at the range, get your club too close, swing like that, and get too far away, and swing like that. You're then gonna feel what is correct. Once you know what the extremes are, you're gonna know what the middle neutral 
ground is because you've done both sides. Just wee checkpoints for you, if you do get yourself in that athletic ready position, have somebody push your shoulder and pull your shoulder. What you'll realise is that you're able to deflect the shift in weight a lot better because your knees are bent and you feel solid in the ground. If you've got the wrong posture, certainly the wrong balance, if someone pushes or pulls you, you're going to come off that. And that's what happens in your golf swing. If you're not able to hold your finish position, it means that your balance is incorrect. When your balance is incorrect, it's usually as a result of your posture. If there's something you do in your swing which causes you to be off balance, we'll look at that later because that's going to come in the swing series videos. The majority of the time, if you feel that you're coming off the ball after your swing, it's usually as a result of bad posture. So just to recap, your posture should be a simple athletic ready position. Think about either something heavy getting thrown at you, or think about a small child running to you and you get yourself in that ready position. And for the distance to your ball, you're simply just wanting your arms to hang down naturally. Work on the extremes, as I said, go too far, go too close and work out what your middle ground is. It's going to be completely different. We've all got different lengths of arms, we've all got different heights. But for me, that's something I've found massively helpful. If this video's been okay for you or you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. So put in the comments and let me know if you've found this quite a quick process to get into the athletic position, if you find that your body's able to just quickly move into that ready position. And if you've got any other tips for distance to the ball, put them in the comments and let others know. I'll probably then pick it up for a future video. So leave it there guys. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, apologies we are in the kitchen again, but hopefully Mother Nature can warm up just a wee tad, get out in the course, get some proper videos done. I'm hoping if it does clear up, I'll get out in the course this week. If not, then I'll catch you next Wednesday for the start of the swing series videos. Thanks again for watching. Behave yourselves, take care, watch yourselves. It's slippy. See you later guys.